What's going on everybody? Welcome back to G Myers World and right now we're going to be talking about how you can get any 94 overall divisional NFL playoff player for free. I do want to point out that more information is coming out about the free packs uh, that you get by just completing the sets uh, with the um, the various 90 overall and the um, the divisional playoff BND packs. So if you guys started off from the beginning and you do have this pack right here, right? Uh, it has been told to me okay that you can still upgrade the players regardless if the team wins or not it's just going to cost you more training okay so if you were to pick one of these players that did not advance let's say for instance the cowboys you know what i'm saying bro you would still be able to upgrade tony pollard as the weeks go on it would just cost you more training same thing with cameron hayward they're out and also lester cotton okay so these are just some of the things that uh, you guys should know. Uh, that's why I listen to a lot of the feedback that goes on. That way you guys know what's going on. At the end of the whole promo, you should be able to go ahead and get these players up to 94 overall based on the information that was given, including Jason Kelsey. So once everything is validated, I will go ahead and, you know, select a player. There's no need for me to rush right now and do it. So I'm going to go ahead and leave that right there. As far as the other ones with the Divisional Fantasy Pack, it doesn't really matter. These will not update anymore because, you know, the Ravens and the Niners had the buy. So they included the new Ravens and the Niners in this pack. So these players will also upgrade, but you can see you still get a version of the previous cards as well. So all that's going to happen is as it advances, you'll be able to upgrade the player because you already have the pack, but EA Sports will charge more cards to complete the actual set. So what does that mean? What are the sets? What am I talking about, right? Let's go over to sets right here um, under the live uh, section right here. You're gonna go over to the program and um, what you're gonna do is when you first uh, open up and reset the program to see everything that's here, like when you just go generally into the set, you're gonna see the pack that I'm talking about for the current divisional. Uh, when you click on it, you'll see that the set expires on January 20th. So after it expires, if you want any of the cards I just showed you in the divisional pack that I already have, you're going to have to pay with more cards to get it. They'll still be available, but the sets will increase. Okay, so it's very, very important that you get this done earlier so it doesn't cost you more cards as they advance. All right, I've already showed you guys how to make those cards and how to get those things for free. But what we're going to do right now is we're going to jump into the program. All right, of the playoffs, and we're gonna talk about the divisional round where you can still see that that BND pack is right there. So all that's happening is we're in the set section and we're looking at program and we're looking at playoffs and everything is here uh, that's available for you guys right now. All right, so you can see at the bottom, you can still start from scratch with 82. You can make it all the way up to a 91. This is what I will tell you guys though. You see the packs that actually require the 88s? Those are not necessarily useful unless you already have 88s because you've been purchasing packs or you've been using training in their reroll. all right other than that i'm going to show you guys some other ways to get 91s all right so pretty much right now right this is what i've been doing i've been looking at the cards that i want to go ahead and make some money off of because i don't really like a lot of the cards that were released jared goff i'm good uh pacheco i'm good josh allen i'm good vita vea we kept Okay, so I've been buying a lot of cards, which is why my coins are down again. So again, regardless of what your whole premise is, if you guys buy packs or whatever, I don't often buy packs unless it's a card that I actually want. So for me, it's a little bit different. All right. So looking at these cards right now, you can see we've already started to put together cards because it's any 91, right? So with the any 91 situation, I play, you know, I play a lot of Madden head to head and obviously, you know, you're going to win Super Bowls and things like that. So you get a lot of these cards off rip from just pack openings, right? So if you don't get them from pack openings, there are various ways to make the cards off of the lower level cards that you get. So let's go ahead and take a look at something real quick. All right, the number one way, but it's a gamble, is the core set, where you can go over here and get a 90 or 91. Get This is more of a gamble now because all EA has been giving out are 90s. So the 90s are only good for like the Ghost of Madden, and those cards are really, really outdated as far as price. So, you're, and you know, also with the Redux, they've re-released players that were limited. So it's very, very difficult to do this method with the 90 to 91. I want to point that out because many of you guys have been asking like, yo, is it still worth it? It was worth it when the prices were a little bit better, um, you know, trying to go after ghosts and everything, but all the ghosts are just so cheap, it doesn't really matter. This is the set I would probably recommend for you guys as of right now is the All Madden, because at least with the All Madden, you add an additional 88, 
but you're going to get a 91 and it's guaranteed. All right. Making the 88s is a lot easier than trying to get the, uh, you know, a 91 out of the 90 to 91 corset. So once you get those 88s, right, you could pick any one of these. It doesn't matter. All of them are really, you know, whatever. They're very, very cheap right now. And you would just simply continue to do this and make, you know, if you want to make 88s and go here, it'll cost an additional one. But the gamble is a lot less because you know what you're getting. So most of these cards that I've got, I've either made them or I've received them from playing Super Bowls and winning Super Bowls. Now, when you take a look, right, you see the variation of this and how it works, right? You see like how it's all different uh, programs, like you have the Division Dynasty, you have the AKA. If you don't want to gamble in that type of method, that's when you can utilize the fact of the, you know, the playoffs. You know, you can look at it and see, okay, does this make sense for me to use these? Because I've been pulling a lot of them from re-rolls or whatever else you've been doing. So let me show you guys what's happening with that, right? If you want to gamble in the store and you want to utilize training, okay, what happens is you're not going to really be pulling a lot of limiteds. I've seen a guy go through so much training and not really get anything. And it's kind of disgusting to see it, but it's also hilarious when you're not the one spending it. Like, I know it sounds wild, but that's pretty much what it is. So I just had to get my daily deal. I must have forgot to get it yesterday. Uh, always get those, that 500 coin pack. It's going to be garbage for the most part, but always get that and any other one cent uh, pack that they may have. So when you go over to the playoffs, right, there is a reroll. So what I've seen a lot of people do is they've, they've started to get cheap training and re-roll this and they've been spitting out 88s um, as the highest card most of the time. I don't see anybody really getting limiteds or anything like that. I've seen a lot of people getting 88s. So if you're pulling a lot of 88s out of the re-roll, you should use those 88s in that particular set to just get the 91 that way because it's specific to the actual program and you will get these cards more often because it's the most active program. Okay, so if you have a lot of garbage in your binder right now, it is probably the most lucrative method to use those trash cards to go ahead and quick sell them for training. Like whatever else you, you may not be using, right? You can just start quick selling them. You know, there's a lot of cards from previous promos, like these 87s, all this crap that I have in my binder. I can just start going through like this, bro, and it gets real, real crazy. Like already that's 18,000 training. So I can make up whatever I want. It depends on how you want to do it and how many cards are actually in your binder. I will be doing this live on stream, so if you are a YouTube member and you have other questions or comments, I will gladly answer them for you as a member of my channel, or if you're watching me live on Twitch, or if you're watching me on X, or if you're watching me anywhere else, you know, kick, wherever I am live, I will definitely answer your questions if you guys are subbed up or members of the channel. So, with all that being said, if you gamble inside of that specific uh, training variety pack, and you're like, yo, gee, I'm just better off gambling with training, and I'm just gonna make my 91s like that, that's fine, because I've actually seen people pull so many 88s, so you know what I'm saying, off of training. So, utilizing the things that are in your binder, it makes it so much easier to do this, okay? Now, we just made another 91. We just made two 91s. We didn't have to spend anything. It's all about what you already have and understanding what sets matter. So when you do this, this doesn't matter what 91 you pick, obviously, right? Once you've done that part, now, because I've already done the other three before the video started by just making them up, now you guys got, you see that all of them are redeemed. We could redeem any of these 94 divisional players, right? Okay, which ones are the most expensive out of all of them that are available? That's what you have to figure out now based on the catalog. Obviously the limiteds like CJ Stroud, Nick Bosa, all these guys, Jair Alexander, they're gonna be more money. Now you start to look at what the other prices are. Now I told you guys, you know, as far as the prices go, I did not really like the way they set up Josh Allen. Jared Goff is garbage, we know that, but most people are not really spending the money on Josh Allen like we thought they would. Um, Vita Vea has been really, really big. Um, you know, like he's, he's a fat dude. Like he's just right there in the middle running around. You could probably get 500K for him, net something like exactly. He's right at 500K. You're gonna see that they're hovering around that range. So you have to pick the best possible sellable card if you're not utilizing the card in your lineup. Okay, that's very important. So right now, Josh Allen, you see like how he's under the 500? The reason that Vita Vea is closer to five is because he's a heavy D tackle. And you know, right now there's no actual fatigue, so that's very important. Other players like Zadarius Smith is also pretty good. All right, so you would go through the catalog and see their ranges. Like he's at 520 right now. So he's above 
you know, what we saw right now for Vita Vea. He's probably going to be the more expensive one. So I'm going to complete his card as of right now, because based on everything else that's going on, I don't really care for the other cards. Like none of them are even averaging out, you know, closer to 500. Well, this guy is probably going to be really, really good though. We might, cause like, like he's a fast outside linebacker, right? But he's still like 491. All right, so I think based on what we're seeing right now, we would go with Zadarius Smith. Okay, so let's go with Zadarius Smith. Let's go do that real quick. We're gonna see what he's doing again. Let's just double check it. All right, he's still at 520, he's solid. So now we know we're gonna at least get 500K. So now it turns into a coin method because we see that we have free cards that we've made and we can go ahead and do that. So we'll find Zadarius Smith, even though he's not a divisional, He's one of the earlier cards that was there. He's still pretty expensive. So we're gonna grab him, okay? We're gonna create his card and we're gonna sell him instantly. And this is what you do. You either keep the card, get rid of older cards, you know, and you continue to do this as another coin method and also utilizing all of the stuff that you already have, understanding what the sets are. And, and that's how you make coins. That's how you build your team. That's how you do these things in this game. So he last sold for 500K. So we're just gonna throw him up for 499. And, and let them be sold, and that's it. So either way, whichever way you decide to go about it, that's up to you, but I just want you guys to know, as it continues to go on, we're gonna have more and more opportunities to get these cards for free. I wanna thank you guys and girls for watching. Hopefully you're having a blessed day. I'm gonna see you guys and girls next time. One love, y'all.